Can you explain the rainbow flag? Well, At First Baptist Church? Yep. Okay, and what's the explanation? Uh, that's what we've, uh, what we're, that's our outreach here. And, uh, so that's what we need to do. The Bible says you can come as you are, but are you teaching them about repentance? We, uh, Paul told us about you all, that there are wolves in the church who crept in privately to draw away disciples after themselves. John told us about you all, that you were not of us, that you went away from us, that you might be manifest, that you were not of the church of God. You must tell them the truth about the word of God. All you're doing is coddling their sin. Give me a little space. Are you a Christian? We can talk civilly, but just give me space. Are you a Christian? Yes, I'm a born again Christian. Yes, can you uh, prove what you're saying by quoting Jesus instead of Paul? Sure. Okay. Jesus said in the beginning, God created them male and female, so that they will multiply the earth and procreate. Are you a Christian or a Paulian? Born again Christian. Then quote Christ. He's an apostle of Jesus Christ. No, no. I don't the Bible says what he has all say. the word of God is given by the inspiration Listen, of the Holy Ghost Paul, and it's profitable for reproof, for Listen, correction, for instruction Paul, in I righteousness. So the man of God may be thoroughly furnished unto all good that. works. Okay, you're going to fail, sir, on the day of judgment. You will fail on the day of judgment because you distort God's word. How do you explain the flag? That rainbow flag there. How do you explain it? What's your justification for that? Let me hear it from your lips. That's a rainbow flag. What, what does it mean? What does it mean? It means diversity. Diversity. And what did God say about diversity? Uh, he said, there's only one way to the Father, and that's through the Son, Jesus. Yep, he said, he said if, you if you come after me, let him deny himself, come and take up his cross and follow me. The Sodomites aren't denying themselves. You're coddling their sin. There's no forsaking of their sin. There's no repentance there. Jesus said, come as you are, but you must go changed. On, deaf ears. What did he say in John 3, 16? Can you quote For that? God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. There you go. It's what you believe. Past it's tense. It's what you believe that saves you. It's right. what you believe. He so loved the world, past tense. 2,000 years ago, he gave us his son. But today, we can't bank on that if we're living in sin. Oh, so I guess you're not a Christian. I believe Jesus is words. I believe his words are true. You don't believe John 3.16? You don't believe we need to repent? I don't think we're going to solve this. No, we're, we're, we're working. Yeah. It's called reasoning, iron sharpening iron. He knows a little bit of truth, and I know truth. So we must come to God as we are, but we must go convert it, sir. That's why Jesus came, to save us from our sins. This is the King James Bible. We speak English, so that's what we read. It's the Word of God in English. Paul condemns it. Paul is a disciple of Jesus Christ. He was inspired by the Holy Ghost. Look, on his way to Damascus, he a saw a vision. Sexism, a bunch of homophobia. I do not want Paul as a part of my he life. He used to persecute I the church, Christian. sir. I'm not a Paulian. Oh, I'm not you saying I'm a Paulian. I'm a disciple of Jesus Christ. You're gonna, if you're going to justify this, you've got to quote Jesus if you're a Christian. The Bible says, well, Don't stop quoting I, Paul. I do quote Jesus. Okay? Jesus you said, say, you Jesus say, said in Luke, Jesus, listen, Jesus, I, let me, let me say this. I heard you say, you said Jesus made a male no, and female. No, thank you. And then you Jesus said in Luke 13, okay, okay. Words, you're not taking well, I'll tell you what Bible. Jesus said, words in red. Jesus said in Luke 13, 3, unless you repent, you shall all likewise perish. What does repent means? It means change our ways. Oh, oh wait, wait, I'm sorry. Uh, Jesus said also in Revelation that uh, he does not want any lukewarm Christians in his home. He does not want any lukewarm. He said that you're neither hot nor cold. I will spit you out. <laughs> I will spit you out from my mouth. So, I mean, we can quote Jesus all day long, but Jesus also talks about repentance just as much as Paul talked about repentance. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the Bible is based off repentance. Repent. That's literally the whole New Testament in a nutshell. Repent. Repent of your sin so you won't perish. I mean, come on now. Are you talking about, I don't want Paul. I heard sexism and this and that. How could you, how could you be a follower of Christ? But the only, the only scriptures that you are reading is the ones that Jesus quoted. That's the only ones you're reading. That's the only ones you're, and if you want to even read Jesus scriptures, he talked about repentance. He talks about that a lot. So come on, let's, let's really make sense here. Okay. Let's just really make logical sense here. Cause you're not making no sense at all. <laughs> change our mind towards sin and follow God. But back to what he said, uh, you have a, a certain interpretation. The Bible says we're built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone. So the apostles were 
authorized by God and the Holy Spirit to write down the words from the inspiration of the Holy Ghost for us to abide by. So you don't believe in John 3.16? Yes, I do. But you must you interpret it correctly, sir. Jesus saves you. Yes. But you must repent. Jesus said, unless you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Believe the gospel. But what did Peter say on the day of Pentecost, which the First Baptist Church doesn't abide in? After they believed, they were pricked in the heart. Acts chapter 2, 37, 38 says, And they said unto them, Men and brethren, what shall we do? After they believed the gospel, Peter said, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Right here, Revelation. Revelation 3, chapter, uh, Revelation chapter 3, verse 15 through 16. I know all things you do. This is a red, by the way. Okay, I, I can show y'all. It's not highlighted in my Bible. I have it highlighted in my other Bible. But I can show y'all. It, it's, it's in red. Okay, it say, Jesus said, I know all the things you do that you are neither hot nor cold. I wish that you were one or the other. But since you are like lukewarm water, whether, uh, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out from my mouth. You say I am rich. I have everything I want. I don't need a thing. And you don't realize that you are a wretch. You are wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. This is literally Jesus speaking, bro. This is literally Jesus speaking. So you keep saying, can you quote John 316? Everybody could quote John 316. It's the most popular scripture there is, bro. Even the atheists can freaking quote John 3.16. And they don't even believe. <laughs> but yet they can quote John 3.16. Anybody can quote John 3.16. It's the most popular scripture. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins to, so that no one would pay. I mean, come on now. Everybody can quote this entire scripture, bro. You're talking about John 3.16. Let's, let's, let's talk about repentance. Let's talk about living in sin. Let's talk about how certain Christians, like people probably go to your church, they only come to church on a Sunday, but then Monday through Friday, I mean Monday through Saturday, they live in the way they want to live. Let's talk about that. Let's let's really get deep. Let's talk about the real that's happening in Christianity or in this uh in this faith. Let's talk about how so many denominations under this one particular faith, we're not sticking to the original recipe that Jesus laid out for us. Let's talk about that. You want to talk about John 3 16? Let's talk about everything. Let's go deep with it. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. So repentance is a requirement. It comes after we believe the gospel. We can't just come, come to Jesus and stay as we are. We're going to go to hell that way. God's way is pure. It's holy. We must be converted. A radical change of mind. Conversion. Old things, old things pass away. All things become new. Well, that's your opinion. Well, it's not my opinion. I just told you it's the word of God. All of the Christian world believes that the scriptures uh, are interpreted. Are you a pastor? I am. I'm okay, not the pastor of this I'm but you're a, a pastor, guest speaker. Today, guest speaker, but but, but, but how um, can you be a preacher if you don't believe the word is authorized by God? Oh, I do. So, what scriptures do you read, sir? I, what Bible I read version? The Bible. I, I read what version? Usually the NRSV, sometimes King James, sometimes NIV. I look at the different translations to kind of get a broader. Well, you can do that with the King James version. That's why you have a Strong's Concordance. They okay. omit from the, the word of God think they're more accurate translations. Well, I'm banking on this one because God preserved his word throughout the... I respect your Okay, so the, your the point is, that. the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 6, 9, Do you not know? Be not deceived. Do you not know that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Neither fornicator, nor idolater, According nor adulterer, again, nor the effeminate, nor homosexuals. Paul. Okay? Well, thing, Paul, the word homosexual didn't exist you're before the 19th Abusers century. of themselves with mankind. They defiled themselves with mankind. They left their first estate like the angels. What a lot of scholars wrestle with is what exactly did he mean by that? I believe in Jesus, and I believe that Jesus has saved me. I believe in, my belief is what saves me. Okay. Yeah. Gene, John 3.16, that's where I hang my hat. But Jesus said, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. You just confessed it with your lips that you love Jesus, and he loves you, but your heart is far from him. Because if you had a heart after Christ, you'd obey his word. Okay. I'll tell you what, if you find any red, red, red printing in there, it says that, uh, it says that uh, gay people are going to hell, then fine. You got me. Jesus said, uh, when he was talking about uh, marriage and divorce, he said, in the beginning, God created them male and female. Okay, so that they will multiply the earth and procreate. So that's all you got. He didn't actually say anything female. specifically about homosexuality. Well, his disciples did, and his father did. God did in the Old Testament. Okay, and his disciples did in the New Testament. All throughout the New Testament, Timothy, Corinthians, okay, uh, Jude, 
Okay, they leave their natural estate like the angels and they're reserved under chains of darkness until the day of judgment. Are you going to come in and join our service today? No, thank you, sir. Why not? I'm here to preach the word of God to as many as will hear. Okay, I have a church home where we worship God in spirit and in truth. Okay, Do you we ever quote Jesus in that church? Of course. Oh, God, it's all here, man. You just got to read. The Bible says, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. Even Israel, a lot of the children of Israel, they, they died and they perished because they didn't read the word of God. And that's what's happening here. You just come into church, listen to what the pastor tells you, but you got to get through this. You got to dig deep in this. I'm sure you're good in history and, and, and biology books and science books, but how good are you in the word of God? But when we come to Jesus Christ, we repent, forsake our sin, and become straight. Live righteously, live holy before our God. The Bible says God is holy. Only the pure in heart shall see God. It's sad that we're in a society where uh, they think everything goes with God. All you got to do is love, love, love. That's true. God is love. But he's also a God of wrath and severity. Okay? All they're teaching you here at First Baptist Church is how to love your neighbor. But if you really love your neighbor, you're going to tell them the truth. Amen. Amen. If I see that young woman's house starting to smoke, I'm going to go there and knock on the door. If she don't answer, I'm going to kick the door down. I'm going to pull her out of her bed. She's going to wonder why I'm dragging her out of bed at 3 o'clock in the morning. But when she's out safe, she's going to thank me. And she's going to watch her house go up in flames. And that's what it's about when we preach the word of God. Your toes might be stepped on. You may consider this harsh. But if you heed the words of God on the day of judgment, when God spares you, you're going to thank the preacher. But if you don't heed the words of God, I'm sorry, folks, but you're going to suffer with the wicked. There's no repentance here. There's no baptism in the name of Jesus Christ here. All you are is offshoots of the Catholic Church under your father, Tertullian. The Bible says, They that wander from the path of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. We're built on the apostles and the prophets, Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone. And when we come to God, after we believe the gospel, we repent and we get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Not in titles, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. There's no blood remission there. There's only remission of blood, remission of sin in the name which is above every name, and that name is Jesus Christ. The Bible says, whom the Lord loves, he chastens, and he scourges every son he receives. When I used to be a, a so-called Christian, when I was living in sin, I was a pseudo-Christian. I was a lukewarm Christian. I thought it was okay to sin and still live for God. Like this man said, hey, don't you believe in John 3.16? Of course I do. But many of you use John 3.16 as a get out of jail for free card. And it's not going to work that way. After you believe the gospel, you repent. Because if not, the Bible says... I wish you were hot or cold, but because you're lukewarm, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Revelation 3.16. Jesus quoted that. Just saying. I'm just saying. See, they don't read stuff like that. They want to stick to the God is love. And yes, that is honestly true. God is love. But like he said, you can't continue to live in sin and, and think that you can follow God. That just, it, it just doesn't work like that. That means you straddle the fence. You're neither hot nor cold. You're lukewarm. And God's going to vomit you out of his mouth. That's what it means being a compromising Christian. That's what it means being a, 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 a passive Christian. That's what it means being a, a type of Christian who just welcomes all and never preaches repentance. Folks, I'm telling you here today, you may close the doors on me, but you're not going to close the doors on God on the day of judgment. First Baptist Church here. How far has the Baptist Church fallen? That right there, that right there was an actual, bro, that was an amazing video. Literally exposing the darkness, even the darkness in the church. You know what I'm saying? That's what we have to do as believers, expose the darkness to going around because people are being deceived. Look how many people are at this church service. Look how many people are continuing to go to this church. It's not just, bro, first of all, the rainbow, it was created as God's promise to never flood the earth again. That's what the rainbow was created for. That's That was the original meaning of the rainbow. But guess what Satan does? He take that rainbow. And yes, I know that the, the, the LGBT flag and the rainbow flag, I think it's like an extra color added on or it's not the same color. It's like a couple extra colors added on, whatever. But he took that rainbow flag. You know what I'm saying? He, I mean, he took the original thought of what a rainbow is supposed to be, put it into a, 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 a field where it's not pleasing to God. 
because being LGBT is not pleasing to God. As as tough as that may sound, but it's the truth. And you say find a scripture where it say that you're going to go to hell if you're LGBT. Bro, it's plenty of scriptures that say this. I already brought up a couple of scriptures in my last video. In my last video where it said homosexuality is an abomination to God. So you can't sit here and tell me, oh, find a scripture this, or I don't believe in this, or I just I just hang my hat on John 3, 16. You literally just said, as a pastor or whatever you are, you hang your hat on John 3, 16. So what else do you read besides John 3, 16? Because there's a lot of scriptures in the New Testament where Jesus quoted, repent of all sins. Repent, turn away, pick up your cross, follow me, deny yourself. All these different things that Jesus has spoke, and you say, I hang my hat on John 3, 16. It, like, come on now. Are you serious? <laughs> you must not know Jesus Christ. He is love. He died on the cross for you. God loves you. Look, it, it's this is the thing, though. We know that God loves. God is love. Or oh, if God is love, why would he send people to hell? First of all, hell was never meant for us. It was meant for the devil and his angels. That's what hell was meant for. But you have a choice right now to decide whether you want to go. Do you want to follow the devil and his angels or do you want to follow Jesus Christ, our, your Lord and Savior? If you follow Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, then you will end up in the kingdom of heaven. If you follow the devil and his angels and you continue to live a life full of sin, then you're going to live. You're going to end up in hell. You're going to end up burning. You're going to end up in a, a, in a pit of darkness. That's what you're going to end up if you continue to follow your own ways in this life. We know that, like I said, we know that God is love, but he also uh, 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 pour out his wrath upon people who are going to continue to deny him, who's going to continue to live in their wicked ways. But this is how God is so loving because you may think that's not a loving God. God is so loving because if you're watching this video right now, he put breath in your lungs. You just did something so bad yesterday, but yet you still woke up this morning. If you made it through 2023 and you in 2024 now, that's God's love. That's God's grace. That's God's mercy. If you made it from 2020 when it was COVID and you didn't die from COVID-19, guess what? That's God's love. That's God's mercy. That's God's grace. If you made it home without getting to no car accidents, that's God's love. That's God's mercy. That's God's grace. This is all the things to show that God truly loves and he cared for you and he continued to give you chance after chance. It, it, I'm pretty sure it's plain. Like, for example, when Jesus was on the cross dying, it was two people next to him, right? One of, and I believe they're both as thieves, robbers. You know, they were sinful people. I believe it was the one on the left, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was the one, yeah, I think it was the one on the left or the, let me see. It was the one, hold on. Yeah, it was the one on the left, okay? It was the one on the left, right? And that person lived a life full of sin, but he had a couple minutes, maybe an hour, maybe two hours of breath still, still in his lungs. He still had breath in his body to be able to, to, to repent of his sins, to, to know that this is the son of God that is on the cross next to him. And what Jesus say, I will, I will see you in the kingdom of heaven. So this is shows that he has love, mercy, grace. But guess what the other robber did? He blasphemed Jesus. He blasphemed Jesus. He used his last breath to deny Jesus Christ. And this is what I mean by I say God is love. Jesus loves you. They give you chance after chance after chance you just got to be willing to pick up your cross to follow him and to seek him with all your heart stop living in wicked sin stop being a lukewarm christian stop going to church on sundays and then living any type of way monday through saturday stop doing that live for god each and every day going into this new year you have a choice to make you can either spend this year living for god or you continue to spend this year and, and be in your feelings and, and feel this way towards God and feel that way towards God. But trust and believe me, Christians, believers, true believers in Christ, they're going to step on your toes. The, the Bible itself is going to step on your toes because it's going against your lifestyle. It's going against the way you love to live. You may got LGBT people in your family, but yet you are the Christian. So it's like if you have these people in your family, the best thing to do is if you love them, tell them the truth. I don't preach the word to people that was LGBT before. I don't preach the word to Muslims. I don't preach the word to atheists. I don't preach the word to all these people because I want to see everybody living in the kingdom of heaven. I want to see people living, living for God, living for Jesus Christ. I wasn't living for Jesus Christ at first, but trust me, my testimony is a powerful testimony. I came out of the LGBT community and I'm living for Christ. I have a wife. 
I, I, I'm living for Christ. I'm, I'm doing the things that I know I need to do. I'm not doing it just to, oh, look, guys, I'm, I'm a good Christian. Like, no, I still mess up. I'm still a sinner. I'm still a sinner at the end of the day. We all going to continue to be sinners, but this is the thing. I'm not comfortable in my sin, and I don't live in my sin. I live a life full of repentance. I don't intentionally try to sin. When I know something is wrong, I don't intentionally do it. I, I live a life full of repentance. Now, every day I may do something that I don't even know is a sin because I haven't read the full Bible yet. I'm, I'm not fully, I'm not fully, I haven't fully read this. I'm going to be honest, I haven't. There's a lot more that I got to learn from this word. But as I continue to grow in my walk with Christ, I want y'all to continue to grow in y'all walk with Christ. And if you're not following Christ, start following Christ right now, 2024. Give your life to Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Give your life to Jesus Christ. I promise y'all, bro. You want to see, you want to feel peace in your life? Follow Jesus. Follow Jesus. You don't want to have anxiety? Follow Jesus. You want to depend on somebody to to handle to uh you want to depend on somebody to handle all the things that you may face in life, all the storms that may come your way? Follow Jesus. I'm not saying this walk gonna be 100 percent easy. It's not. You still gotta do work on your part. God is not just a God that's gonna serve a lazy servant. Come on now. <laughs> He's not gonna serve a lazy servant. You still gotta faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead, but works without faith is also dead. So you got to continue to work and strive to what God is calling you to do, but have faith while you're doing it. And don't work without having the faith that he's going to provide for you. Have faith, y'all. I love y'all, man. I'm going to go ahead and get off this video. Uh, I appreciate all that y'all doing. Happy New Year. It's been your boy, Depend. Or I might switch up the channel, y'all. I'm thinking about rebranding my entire channel for this new year, but I don't know yet. Don't know just yet. I might. I might not. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, y'all let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about this video. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.